Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the ranch. Today, we are going to be starting our chicken empire. So I hope you guys are ready wherever you went. Oh, you're both right here. Um, we have two chickens. I always thought we had a rooster, so we're definitely going to have to get a rooster today. We're going to set up some new chicken coops, hopefully start getting some eggs hatching, and hopefully start making some money with these eggs. Looks like we got to make sure we keep things clean, too. But um, let me show you guys what we've been up to. So you, you can see up at the top there, we're currently on day eight. Now, I've been grinding a ton off screen i did a bunch of hunting like an obscene amount of hunting made quite a bit of money from that and then we've also been at work logging check this out this is our initial logging territory took out a lot of this i'm trying not to do too much so you can't really notice it when we're actually over at the farm i like having the trees but obviously we need wood got our old table saw in the back here don't want to forget her out in the boonies we did upgrade that a little bit so we could be a bit more efficient we got the luxury table saw but can't ever forget where we came from. I'm going to go over to our second spot that's a little bit closer to our field. This is another little pasture that I've created by cutting down all these trees. Honestly, it's really, really sad, but um, we, we've got some rewards for our efforts. I wish it was more, you know, it was, it was a few in-game days even working through the night, and this is what we ended up with here. So we've got quite a bit of wood. I don't even know if this is going to be enough to build a barn and all the things we want to do, but... At least we've got a bit of a head start, and um, you guys won't have to watch me chop trees nonstop to be able to build the things we want to build. So I'm going to set this up right here. Looks good. And uh, yeah, so things are looking good. I like this. Just kind of a little extra material storage here next to our greenhouse, which, by the way, the grapes are doing well. And I did figure out that you can not harvest things with the basket. So you just click it, and it gets all of it. It's a lot more efficient than what we were doing yesterday. So we're actually going to use this. We're going to pick up a bunch of eggs. We're going to go to the, the country store. We're going to sell everything we have. We're going to buy a rooster. We're going to get some metal to build a premium chicken coop we're just gonna get off to a hot start today i'm gonna check we don't have our chickens confined so i feel like i see eggs all over the place that's the thing we're definitely gonna put some fences up lock them in a, a smaller space they're not gonna have free reign around the farm and it's gonna make cleanup and everything either easier for us so since we have two chickens we know for a fact none of these are gonna be fertilized so Let's take these into the country store. I think we're full on, on the basket here. You can only hold 30 things. We've got 12 eggs, 16 tomatoes, and 12 grapes. Let me, I'm going to water our plants. Eventually, building a windmill is going to really help us out so we don't have to worry about doing this constantly. But for right now, it is what it is. I'm hoping this is going to help us with money making. To be honest, nothing comes close to hunting. Every piece of meat is, uh, I think it's either 15 or 25 bucks. I just went on an absolute hunting spree. We have... $1,800 in our bank account right now. So that's a fair amount. It'll it'll get us some materials and stuff. And hopefully as we keep perfecting these other side hustles, we're going to find something that really stacks up to that. Bring our bucket back up. Always like to have a full bucket ready to go. Just so when we need it, we don't really have to worry about it. And uh, let's get out of here. Off to the general store. Dude, I will say I had the absolute crap scared out of me. And I really wish I had been recording. I was honestly really upset. So it's probably a good thing I wasn't recording because I kind of screamed and may have, may not have cursed. Um, I was uh, I was looking at what the price of metal is because so today we're going to be building. I kind of want to do, oh gosh, we got a storm rolling in here. I don't like that. I want to do this premium chicken coop. Uh, we could do the big chicken coop. This one just looks so much nicer. I think it's easier to work around and it takes about the same amount of materials. So might as well get the nice one. I want to do that. And then I was also looking, I want to start, we should actually probably do this first. I want to start drilling for oil. Somebody in the comments just said drilling for oil, especially next to the general store here is really good. So we need 20 concrete, which is I think two and a half dollars a piece and 20 metal, which is $10 a piece. I'm actually going to take a, a look around here just to be sure we're okay. Cause talking about this story scares me a little bit. I was, uh, I was over at the hardware store and I guess there's more forest and stuff over here. As I was in there, like getting off the buy panel, I turned around and there was a bear charging me through the doorway. I couldn't get my gun out in time. I panicked and I died and it reset my game to the start of that day. I really wasn't very fond of that. So definitely a missed opportunity for, for content. I spooked the absolute crap out of me, but at the same time, I would have been a little bit embarrassed. What is this? Take record? Oh, is that to play music at, at the house? That must be to play music. All right. So let's see what we're going to make from this. From the eggs, they're $6 a piece. We've got bullets. 
I don't. Why would I want to sell those? I'd, I'd rather keep them, but I guess okay, we could sell those. Uh, tomatoes are six bucks a piece. Grapes are twenty bucks a piece. We could make two forty off the grapes. Okay, grapes are the way to go. Sell those for four hundred and eight dollars. I I'm not I'm not messing with any of the the tomatoes or anything else anymore. We're focusing solely on grapes. So we've currently got two, I think, brown chickens. I'm gonna buy two white chickens, two black chickens, and I'm gonna say, let's get two roosters. Let's go one this color and one black rooster, 700. I'm really hoping this is gonna be worth it. I, I think it will. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to carry this many animals, but we'll find out. Let's go ahead and check out. Sorry to do this in the rain, guys. I feel a little bit bad for you, but let's make sure we get these guys before they end up running away. Gonna have to really strategize where we, we put you. Hopefully you stand nicely for me when you go in the back of the, the gator here. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to place them pretty close. We should be able to get all these guys. Could potentially get more if we wanted, but I don't think that's necessary. I feel like this is going to be a good start. You know, we, we don't want too many. We will end up uh, hatching quite a few, so we don't want to waste our money right now. So we're, we're just going to get a, a good baseline. And uh, I mean, it's six bucks a piece. Honestly, grapes kind of seem like the way to go. We also want to get an Aviscope before I forget about it. I don't know how much that's going to cost. I'm hoping we have enough for it. Where? Oh, Aviscope right here. hundred bucks. Beautiful. All right. Hopefully we're going to have enough room to fit the Aviscope. Just like a little, ooh, in order to find out whether an, whether an egg is fertilized or not, turn on the Aviscope and insert the egg into the slot. Fertilized egg will have a dark spot on it. Better to check indoors. Ah, interesting. Okay, this might be a problem. Tell me we could put it right there. That's what I'm talking about. All right. The storm has passed. Welcome to your new home, fellas. Excited to hear fellas and fellettes. Excited to get you home. This is what I was talking about, drilling for oil. That Honestly, should probably be our focus before we get the chicken coop, but we're kind of all in on chickens at the moment. We got to get metal anyway, either way, so okay. Well, this is a rough start to our day. I have been collecting some feed bags as we were making country store trips for like ammo and stuff like that. I just remember in our previous series a couple years ago, we were always looking for feed bags, so let's try to get a bit of a, a head start on that. So I'm thinking let's grab a few of these. Let's at least set up the pin where we're going to put this chicken coop. I'm thinking we're going to have it off to the side of the house. And then uh, we'll put all the chickens in there. We'll, we'll go get the metal and all the other stuff that we need. And then we'll, we'll worry about you know, actually building the coop later, but at least we'll have them in one confined space. We don't have to worry about it. So we're going to go for the uh, the fencing, wooden fence. I'm thinking we kind of just go along the entire side of the house would make the most sense to me. So I'm going to get this want to make sure they can't sneak out so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it kind of like this is there an easier way to build fences i feel like this is really ineffective here is that looking good yeah that's looking pretty good i just kind of wish it snapped together a little bit like i can't tell if we've got space in between those or not you think this is going to be big enough i hope so if we were smart we would probably do a little bit less wood because we're going to end up using a ton of wood just to build the fence itself but i guess it is what it is. We're going to have to move this out of the way now. Move these feed bags out of the way. We are going to be going through feed like crazy. We really need to get a, uh, a grain silo and the windmill to replace food and water. And that's kind of why I want to put these over here because they're radius based. And I I'm thinking we put like a, a windmill right here so it'll refill and, and, you know, do our sprinklers for the greenhouse and refill the chicken water all at the same time. So I'm kind of trying to put everything all in one area. We'll probably end up putting our barn somewhere over there. All right. So we've got those moved. Let's go back to our handy dandy little fence here. And we're going to finish this thing out back to the house. Definitely get a gate in there. Now this is going to take a little bit more wood than a normal fence piece, but that's okay. We've got to be able to access We've got that there. And we've got one more fence piece here. It looks like we may have been not perfect. Oh, shoot. This is going to drive me nuts then. I'm going to have to fix this. All right. Give me a second. That's what I'm talking about. All right. That should be good. Hopefully, it's big enough. We'll find out. So, we're just going to send it here. This is why I was kind of excited that I took a couple days in game to, to grab all the wood. This Now, this part would be us running and cutting down a million trees and, and just taking forever, but we've just got not an unlimited supply, but we're going to pretend like it is over here in the corner of the barn. Get these guys here, and then our last segment right here. That is what I'm talking about. That's where practice meets preparation, baby. That feels good. So I'm going to put this back here. Let's actually, before I forget, let's make sure we take, we want to keep grapes and grapes only. The tomato plants take so much more water than the grapes too. Honestly, grapes make way more money and they're easier to take care of. Grapes are OP. We are going to only 
plant grapes from here on out. We honestly probably could put like four more grape plants in and it would do well for us. Love how my chickens are just chilling in the back of the gator. Like, come on, bro. You, you told us we had a great house we were going to be going to and we're completely ignoring them here, but they're going to be all right. Just a little bit longer. Take care of all of our grapes. Beautiful. Can water all eight of them with just one bucket. That's crazy. The tomatoes take way more water. I mean, that kind of makes sense a little bit, I guess, but they are not nearly as as profitable and and you know i guess they grow a little bit faster i kind of like the fact that the grapes are slower though because they're less maintenance so i'm going to uh i guess put these guys in like this i feel like they're just gonna walk out by the time we put them down but if we put them off in the corner we should be able to beat them out of here so let's hurry this up come on come on come on he's going for it he's trying to make a run for it trev he's trying to make a run for it come on put them down don't put them on the the grain boom there it is all right get the oh nope get this go 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 no 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 Nope, 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 no, sir. Ah, oh, dang it. We almost got him. Try to make a great escape. Not going to work. Let me grab our other two as well. How you guys doing? Come join your friends. We got a little poultry party going on over on the other side of the house. Get him in there. Now we do have a bit of a food issue at this point. Oh, shoot. We're going to have, we're going to have to break these down. Oh, that's not good. Does this give us our wood back? It does give us our wood back but it doesn't give you your food or anything else back. Oh, that is not the best thing in the world. I know guys, I know we're hungry, we're thirsty, we're everything. Where, where's like our just normal food troughs and stuff? That's it right there. I'm just gonna do a small food trough and a water bowl. I guess we'll just put them in the short grass for now so you guys can't, can't miss them. I love that we actually got the wood back at least. So we're gonna, s oh, we got half the wood back. That's unfortunate. We just 360 no scope this building, the, the water bowl there, beautiful. Put these back, man, I, I, after spending so much time working on the water and the, or on the, the cutting down the trees and stuff, I, I'm really upset that we're wasting this because I feel like we're gonna waste it again as soon as we build this new thing. We're just gonna have to change them and move them again anyway. We could have done this a bit more efficiently, but it's all right. We're gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure there's an option where you can just take one of these, you can put it down, and you can you can pour it on the ground. So you could just, <laughs> we didn't even need the food trough, but it is what it is. We'll leave this in the corner and they'll at least be a bit happier. Okay, let's grab the rest of our eggs. If we grab our basket, we left the basket back at the thing. Just all around, not the, the best start to this episode, but we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna put our obiscope right up front here. This is where we're gonna check on our uh, our eggs when we get the chance. And um, I guess let's go buy some metal, but I'm gonna save the game in case a bear kills us. Bit of a bumpy start, but we're gonna be okay. Honestly, we're moving forward. We're doing everything we need to do. Just could have been a bit more methodical about it but we're gonna be fine so main objective right now we want to get metal and concrete to build an oil refinery thing uh, an oil drill and then we also want to get everything we need for the chicken coop i know we already have dude I, this is like bringing back ptsd i was in here this is what i was talking about i walked in this door i was looking at the prices i turned around and there was a bear charging me down the street and i panicked and i fat fingered it and i couldn't i couldn't get my gun out and it just dude it was gnarly really nervous to be in here i didn't expect the bear would attack me in a hardware store you know i feel like that's a pretty decent thing to think i'm like I, I really don't want to have my back to the door. Maybe, maybe what we do. Let's pull in here. We're going to have an escape set up. I'm going to have our, our thing pointed away and kind of in the entrance. So we can just go run to this if we need to. There's no bears in this room. I'm going to shut the door. So the only way a bear is coming is if he's taking the, the roundabout to get in here. So I don't think he's smart enough to do that. Drill rig's gonna run us 20 concrete and 20 metal. Then our chicken coop is gonna run us 65 wood planks and 35 metal. So we're gonna need 55 metal, 20 concrete. Is there anything else that we currently want? I know there's some other little metal things I wanted to build. There's some like lamps and stuff. So let's let's get a fair amount of metal. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to carry all this in one go. What is a, uh, what's it called cost? The, the big windmill thing, 150 metal. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to afford that. Okay, so I'm gonna say at least like 60 to 70 metal if we can. We can get 50 for 500 bucks. I'm gonna get 70 metal for $700 there. And then we needed how much concrete? It was 20 concrete. I'm just gonna get a, a 50 kilogram bag i'm pretty sure that is that what we're looking for i i can't think of of anything else that we would want there all right let's go ahead and check out 950 bucks we're pretty much back to even back to broke but we're gonna be fine i was really wanting to buy a trailer i really want to buy a truck too to be honest using this gator is not the 
best experience. I'd like a little bit more cargo room, but I'd rather be making money, so we're going to focus on that. Oh, jeez, look at this behemoth. Okay, we're going to have to reorganize this stuff. Mr. Bear, don't mind me. I'm just an average citizen contributing to the economy. Please don't come and attack me. All right, we're good to go. It's crazy too, because I feel like you don't see bears around this part. I remember hunting bears back in the original series on this game, and we'd have to, dr okay. We'd have to drive like super far away. So it, it just, it kind of makes me a little on edge. Like, do I need to be worried around my ranch? Do I need to be putting up more fences and stuff? Will that even stop a bear? Who actually knows? But I do have a plan that I kind of want to move forward fairly quickly with so what we're gonna do we want to keep we actually want to keep this in here we're gonna grab one of these because i think our oil rig oh shoot i probably shouldn't have put it in there should i this one's completely full so we're good to go i'll just i'll put it right here i'm gonna try to build our oil rig before the the evening time so we can have it run overnight i'm not exactly sure how these work but i'm hoping it's a good source of income this and the grapes we're gonna be Good to go. So this is oil right here, liquid gold. We're gonna build a drill rig. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a lot more aggressive than I expected. So we're gonna set this up. You can have multiple of these, can't you? I've seen so many spots around the map with this. So we could just keep these running all day, every day, making money for us. So we need 20 concrete, 20 metal. We've got 50 concrete right here. Put that in there, throw this thing back. And then we need 20 metal, which we have right here. Beautiful, we can set this back on top might be easier and now we've got this guy oh we are going to need an oil drum to be able to be able to collect the oil right so i'm gonna i guess we put this here this takes 50 fuel and this is not going to get it there it's going to get it to about 40 gallons we can turn it on and that's going to start pumping crude oil out of the ground i love it dude all right give me my jerry can back we're gonna have to make sure we constantly keep this thing filled up with gas but i think this might be one of our best methods of making money i'm really hoping this lets us build the farm of our dreams so we're going to revisit this thing in the morning we'll see how much we make i think we are going to have to go buy that oil drum to be able to collect it and then take it back to the hardware store and sell it how are we doing fellas are we enjoying the new home are we actually eating and, and doing well it looks like eating may not be going the best but that might just be because you sat in the back of the gator for a long time i think you guys are going to be just fine i'm i'm proud of you Keep it up. I'm already seeing eggs in the ground. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Sun setting. I'm going to see you guys in day number nine. And uh, we're going to build the world's best chicken coop. I tell you what, it's a good day to have a good day. I am ready to take care of these chickens and give them the home that they never thought possible. Look at them all roosting there in the rain. That can't be fun. They can't feel safe. They don't even have a little, little coop or anything to hang out in. So... We're going to hook you guys up. It's going to be great. Let me step in here. We actually should probably... Let's grab a bunch of wood because we're going to need the 65 wood and the metal and stuff. And uh, hopefully we've got enough space for it. Did I see that right? It was 65 wood. So it's... How many are in a, a set? Seven? One, two, three, four, eight. The thought that I spent so much time chopping down all these trees and it's going to take eight sets over eight sets to be able to build this thing oh it pains me we uh, i worked so hard for these what is bro doing why are you on top of the bag all right you know what i i'm gonna build you something really cool you're gonna be able to climb you're gonna be able to do all your chicken things i didn't know chickens liked climbing maybe he's just a weird chicken who knows but really hope he's not trying to make an escape or something that feels like what he's trying to do premium chicken coop houses 20 chickens so i would imagine 20 is about our max the other thing is so we can obviously sell the eggs but you can sell, like, adult chickens. So if we get to the point that we have more than 20 chickens and, and we need to kind of thin the herd a little bit, I think selling those might be a decent amount of money. Buddy, can we please get off the feedbacks? Let's leave those for later. Um, all right, so we're, we're going to try this. Let's go in and see what we're working with. The premium chicken... Oh, goodness, it is freaking massive. I don't think we're going to be able to put it on top of the feed here, so I'm going to get rid of the, the feed for the moment. I don't think it's going to let me put it on the actual chickens either. So all the chickens are going to have to be out of the middle so that we can actually place this. This was really not well thought out, Trev. You guys are all going back in timeout. I'm sorry. It's got to be done, all right? Oh, I forgot we actually had metal before, so... We drop our extra materials off. We're going to make some nice lighting and stuff for you. We're going to make it super bougie, but we're going to need you to just chill out in the back of the gator for a moment first. Even got some sunshine coming out so you guys can stop complaining. It's going to be an adventure together. We're one happy family now. We're, we're going to work this out. We've got some growing pains here, but I promise as soon as I'm done with this coop, you're never going to have to worry about anything ever again. You're just going to live a lavish life of 
Chicken luxury. Okay, come on. Don't be dramatic. She's sitting in the corner looking at the corner. We're gonna be fine. I promise you're gonna love your new house. All right, you, you know what? You actually could have just sat over there. Why don't you go back to it? So let's uh, let's see if we can build the premium coop now. I would love to have it centered. This is dead center right here. Don't you dare step in. Did that work? I think that worked. Is that centered? I feel like we could go back a little bit more. All right, we're gonna try going back. I'm weird, dude. I'm, I'm very anal about things like this. So we're gonna go with something, something like that. Does that look good? That looks a lot better. All right, so we need 35 metal and 65 wood planks. This is really hard to watch, but uh, all right, let me just put every piece of wood that I have poured my heart, soul, sweat, and tears into, into this thing. Put the excess back, keep us nice and organized. I do, we have 10 to 10 pieces here. I'm gonna put these off to the side. We're gonna grab our partially opened five piece of metal. We should be able to finish this thing. Oh my goodness. I told y'all you were gonna be happy. Come on, look at that thing. Yes. That's you. This is nice. Look at this. Are you kidding me? We've got a double layer of egg laying heaven. We've got like a bottom area here, stuff to climb on so you don't, she's back in the corner again. She really likes that corner. I'm, I'm hoping that's not an issue with the place that we put it. We've got a back entry to grab eggs. We should put a, a normal gate right there. We actually could probably do that while they're chilling in their, their prison. We think the gate's the same size as the other ones, right? I'm pretty sure. All right. I really hope this isn't a mistake, but let's... Oh, God. I don't like that. Do we think that works? I, I, it looks like that might have enough crossover. Let's see. Please tell me we've got enough overlap. Yeah, I think we're good. That, that opens... Oh, that is actually perfect because I think we might be able to keep most of the chickens out so we could just do our thing and then close this up. That was well-engineered. By total accident, we'll take it. All right, you guys are free to go about your business. Now, this is what I was talking about. I'm a little bit sad because I obviously I don't want to keep the food and water where it is right now. I, they were laying eggs in the back of the gator, you freaks. But the food, I mean, I guess it's not terrible. We can access it from the side, so that might not be the worst place to put it. We might put some extra inside. Eventually, like I said, we want to get the grain silo and the, the windmill so we won't have to touch them. I just feel like that's not the, the most... Uh, appeasing area for it but I guess it is what it is let me fill you guys up on the food front want to make sure you're not going hungry there's a lot of you here water's already deteriorating as well we're going to take care of that let's water our plants and then I say we go check out our oil rig I do love that I can reach that over the fence though that's kind of a big deal so I don't know I, I feel like we kind of nailed that you know we uh, some of it was unintentional and, and just happened to work out perfectly but sometimes that's the best parts of life it is a cloudy day. I don't like this. I feel like that doesn't really bode well. Just constantly have like a really sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. Just really don't want to be attacked by a bear. I, I just, I was, it like, it threw me off. I, I'm, I'm really kind of panicked. Not going to lie. Oh, oh no. They're, <laughs> they're, they're broken now. There, there was probably a, a baby chicken in there and we just, we just killed two of them that makes me really that that could have been our first hatchlings those were some of our first eggs that we've had since we've had roosters and we just we just killed them i was gonna say let's go out to the general store let's pick up our basket so we can start using our our oviscope thing all right um so this thing doesn't go through that much gas it's been about 12 hours a little bit more than that and we've only used two gallons which is nice we've got 19 gallons of oil in there so it's it's kind of a slow burn we want to get multiple of those running we're gonna have to check on them every few days i kind of want to go get an oil barrel just to to see where i could have sworn we left our basket here where do we put our basket you need your basket to pick up the eggs otherwise the chickens get really mad at you i mean it's it's 10 bucks for an egg basket so i'm just gonna buy a new one I guess I'm not sure where I put it this happened to me with my jerry can before too and I ended up buying two extras and then I found it later so not the uh the best planning on our part but we're gonna be fine so let's go use our oviscope we're gonna see if we could get some fertilized eggs I wouldn't mind having some baby chicks hopefully ones that we don't scramble before they're able to grow up and uh, then we're gonna try to get an oil can thing whatever I don't even know what and we're gonna see what kind of price we can get for oil here I am here to steal your babies sorry about it it's just a fact of life all right you guys do the thing i do the thing we we work together so i'm going to uh to pick these up and put them in the basket gotta be really sneaky if you're gonna be taking the chillins 
Sorry, guys. Again, this, you know, I give you a place to live. I give you food. I give you water. I give you everything else. I clean up your poop. I build you a really cool house. You just got to give me a couple children in return. All right. It's not, not, you know, the worst deal that you could ask for. So we've got these, these eggs in this basket. Now we're going to come in here. We're going to toggle this thing on. I don't know how. Ah, you pick up the egg with E. Okay, so we're, we're going to pick these up and we can only go four at a time. Now, technically what we could do is just always leave the eggs in there, but I feel like I would like to sell some when we can. Do we have... There are none in this batch. I'm wondering if it might be a little bit too soon. I don't think the roosters have had their, their chance to do their thing yet. So these are all just normal eggs. We want to take these to the general store and sell them and not think twice about it. Going to leave this here. Let's uh, let's go back to our department store, see what an oil can costs. And things are looking good. Honestly, I, I feel like we made leaps and bounds in the last day and a half. We are looking a little bit low on money. I think your boy's going to have to do some hunting to get us back up on top. Obviously, the next step's going to be adding pigs and cows and stuff like that. So we got to come correct. We got to be ready. I'm, I'm looking. I don't want the ops creeping up on us again. Honestly, what we should do is we should, we should just have pistol in hand at any moment. So hardware store. Oh, we can't open up the door if we have it in hand. What do we have here? Oil barrel is 200 and we've got 500 bucks. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to buy that. We, we have a lot. We have a lot that we need to save up for. I want trailers. I want cedars. I want cultivators. I want all this stuff. So we're going to be careful about what we're buying, but I, I guess, you know, you got to spend money to make money. So we got an oil barrel. This can hold 50. All right. So we're going to take this. We're going to go load it up and then I'm going to bring it back here. I know we don't have a full 50 yet, but I'm just curious what our pricing is looking like. See just how useful this is. Is it going to be worth trying to save up money to build two or three of these around the map? And I mean, that that might just be our money play. And then everything else is is just for funsies. I really do feel like grapes might be one of our, our best options if we could expand the greenhouse and have like 20 things of grapes and, and you know, start a winery like we talked about before. So we've got this. I'm going to pick up half a thing of oil. Bro is jacked if he can carry half a vat of oil. We're going to take this back to the hardware store. We're going to see what they price us out at. I'm assuming you sell it at the hardware store. We probably could have sold it at the general store. I feel like you can typically sell everything everywhere. You just can't buy everything everywhere. It might have been a bit more efficient, but this seems a little bit more on brand. So we're going to put that there. We're going to see what are y'all buying that for? Was that a dollar? I clicked it too fast. I just went back and watched it. It was a dollar per unit. We had 240 units in the 24 gallons. I, I don't know if we're using the right measurement devices, but basically $240. So each barrel of oil is worth $500. And it looks like it takes, you know, maybe about 24 hours to fill a barrel. That is absolutely insane you don't I, the only thing you have to do is supply it with gas the gas is somewhat pricey i think to fill up one of these jerry cans is like 30 bucks 35 bucks something like that so i mean the return on investment there is insane how are we looking on this this current setup we still have 37 gallons of fuel left and we're already back up to three so i'm gonna drop this off here we're gonna leave this here we're gonna come back for it if we had two of the three of those things going we would be 100 percent set so i think money wise we might not even need two or three that one might produce enough for us we just have to kind of wait that combined with the hunting is ridiculous so we're good we we've we've got some some good money here i definitely think we probably want to try to find more i feel like i've seen at least one other spot on the map we might have to go on a bit of a search party business but that combined with grapes every little bit the grapes are just frustrating because the water's annoying once we get the the windmill going we're gonna be fine that is is solid honestly we aren't even really relying on the chickens for the money at this point although i am curious what they're gonna fetch a price for a um a full price grown one, but they're just nice to have. You know, we, we've got fresh omelets every morning and uh, we've got a fun little chicken coop here. So very happy with how this is going. I think our next step is going to be to add a barn right over here. Maybe clear out some of these trees, build a big barn, get some cows, get some pigs, get some goats. We're going to focus on that for the next couple episodes. Then we get some horses and then last but not least, we can get to our field over there. So exciting stuff on the way. The farm is growing. Look at this, dude. Look at what we've accomplished so far in just a couple episodes. It feels good. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Don't get attacked by any bears. Stay safe out there. Peace out.